Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. Okay. Now who's ready for something a little bit more fun? This is a little bit more fun topic of discussion. Uh, I talked about this a little bit last time, but I don't think I was quite in the right headspace to do so. So I'm going to try it again. Uh, the topic I'm thinking of is Superman. Superman in particular, because there's a lot of, uh, every time Superman comes up, whenever people talk about comic books, there's the discourse that tends to go back and forth about whether people think, oh, Superman is a boring character because he's just, he's just a god and invulnerable and, and whatever, even though, like, you have to create kryptonite specifically so that he can be hurt by stuff. Um, and then people saying, like, well, he's, he's hopeful, he's a big blue boy scout. Oh, I'm saying random worldwide, it's not CGP. Randoms needs mods. Okay, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, yeah. Um. Yeah, Superman. I like the character of Superman. You know, I, 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 the last time I talked about superheroes uh, in like a video segment or whatever, I talked about Spider-Man, I think, and why I love Spider-Man so much. And in fact, I juxtaposed him to Superman in that video. And I still uh, believe that like, I like those character traits in juxtaposition to the character traits of Superman and sort of like the character that he is. But that's not to say I don't like the character of Superman. I do, very much so. Um, but I, I have some thoughts about the characterization of Superman as boring and, and like, uh, you know, just a random, like, god character in, in comic books and stuff. Uh, particularly regarding Zack Snyder's interpretation, um, I think there's, there's some do's and don'ts, uh, with Zack Snyder's version, right? Um... He does some things right, believe it or not. Zack Snyder does some things very right with uh, Superman. Um, and I'm going to refer mostly to Man of Steel with those. A lot of people cite Man of Steel as the primary example of, like, the boring god Superman trope. Which I don't think is really applicable. I don't think, I don't think that really fits. I like the way that Superman is depicted in Man of Steel. Um... Because he's not, like, he is a fish out of water, right? That's one thing that is true about Superman in uh, Man of Steel. He's a very kind of fish out of water character. He doesn't quite fit in when he's growing up. Um, and part of that is because he's a, he's an alien and he's, like, discovering these powers that he has or whatever. But there's, a, there's a, another part of it that people kind of overlook. And this is taken directly from a uh, comic book uh, influence, from uh, comic book inspiration. Um... The part of the reason that Superman is a fish out of water kind of character is just because he's lonely. He's he's a you know at his core you you know when you're watching adult Superman in uh, the Zack Snyder Man of Steel uh, movie, he's ultimately he's at his core he's a lonely kind of socially awkward college aged guy. And I think that resonates with, uh, that can resonate with a lot of people. It's very relatable as a, as a trope or a set of tropes. Uh, and in fact, I relate with that, uh, to a great degree. Cause that was kind of how I was, uh, throughout a decent, uh, chunk of my college existence. You know? He ultimately, you know, Superman in Man of Steel is much more human than the, the, the critics of that movie would give him credit for. Uh, and, you know, I see a lot of myself and other people my age in him. Uh, so I like that interpretation of Superman. I don't think it's a very boring version of the character. Because it's like, what what is he thinking about, right? He doesn't have all that many friends, so who does he care about? He cares about his mom. He cares about his dad. He cares about his house. He cares about uh, this nice woman that he met, Lois, on, on the ship. Uh, he cares about the, the people that he's met in the military, who he's interacted with throughout the course of the film, even if he doesn't know them super well. Um, you know? And, and he doesn't really care about the, the, uh, he doesn't care as much about the Kryptonians. He doesn't really see them as his people, right? Like, they, they are alien to him as much as, like, humans would be to the Kryptonians. Or, or, you know... General Zod and his crew are as much strangers to Superman as they would be to any other person on Earth. 
you know it's just, superman is still just he's a human he just has the abilities of a kryptonian basically you know and i think it helps that he doesn't have like the greased back slicked back hair for most of the movie you know, what he has is an anastoli he's just like curly uh hair kind of like a, a greek myth character which there is there are definitely parallels there uh you know superman with the the greek heroes and whatnot um but now i'm gonna find uh some common ground with the critics of Zack snyder's interpretations of superman and that is in the later uh versions of the character in in uh, Batman vs Superman, particularly, where he does now have the slick back hair and is very emotionally cold and uh, distant. This is another thing, actually, that Zack Snyder's uh, Superman did right in Man of Steel, was that Superman is kind of like a moody guy, you know? He's not this, like, emotionally cold and distant figure. He has trouble, you know, putting some stuff into, into words and whatever, but, like... You can tell what he's feeling. It's not like this detached, godlike sort of interpretation. He, he's, in fact, he's very attached, if that makes sense. Uh, but then, you know, in, in BVS, that's kind of gone. In in most of the time that you spend with Superman in uh, Batman vs Superman is as Superman, where he's very uh, straight laced and and like. Not all that personable, dare I say. You know, it seems like all of the, uh, the, oh, Superman's just not that interesting, he's, like, boring, kind of detached, he doesn't really feel human. A lot of those critiques do apply in, in Batman vs. Superman. Uh, you know, I can definitely see where that's all coming from there. Um. Okay, I still got third. So to, to, to recap, I do like Man of Steel Superman. I don't like BVS Superman. I do like uh, Kingdom Come Superman. Because he, this, uh, it's a much older Superman that does kind of the same thing. You, you the, the conflict in uh, a lot of Superman comics that do the character well is not like a, a physical conflict per se. Is Superman going to beat up the bad guy? Yeah, of course he is. He's fucking Superman, right? I, I'm actually not a huge fan of the comics where a lot of the, the conflict is very physical. Superman is at his best when the conflict is emotional, ethical, and, and like, ultimately non-physical, right? Where his, his ideals are being challenged, where he needs to be resilient in a different kind of way and, and show that he's not just, you know, physically strong, but also very emotionally strong and capable of... of uh, uh, being like the best version of himself and being uh, somebody that a lot of people can look up to in the sense of like uh, personability, uh, compassion, and things like that. You know, there's a number of Superman comics that involve him talking to somebody who is depressed or suicidal and just staying up there for like, you know, staying with them for hours just to like, to make them feel like they're not alone. And I love that. I love that version of Superman. Hope you have a good weekend. Thank you, you too, uh, Elo and Buzz. Um, you know, and th but those tend to be one-off comic events. Kingdom Come Superman is is sort of an old, more weathered Superman in terms of like he's he's a little bit more cynical. He's a little bit less hopeful, and I think that the 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 overall story of the comic. I don't want to spoil too much because I I would highly recommend it actually as as a. Uh, comic that people would want to read um the the arc of that comic is kind of like building superman back up because it's like you know as much as superman thought that he was wrong the the whole comic it was is kind of about like no superman you're right to be this hopeful uh in some ways kind of corny and and very uh earnest uh, character that 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 Superman is, you know, it's it's kind of trying to create a world where that attitude is gone, even in Superman, only to build it back up and and tell the world, yes, we do want this Superman. We want the sincere, loving, earnest, kind of corny Superman. That's that's what we love about him. It's not the fact that he's big and strong. It's the other stuff, you know. 
Um, but all of that, you know, a lot of that is present in uh, Zack Snyder's Man of Steel, and a lot of that isn't present in Batman vs. Superman. Uh, you know, and I wish people would be able to see that more, because I think uh, Man of Steel gets criticism that it doesn't deserve. I tried to go around Boo and it didn't work. But anyways. And of course it also helps, I'm gonna tie my politics into it a little bit, it also helps that Superman is not a very wealthy character, you know? It, it, he's very uh, relatable from a from a class sense of things. Obviously, like his his one of the bad guys in Superman is literally like a billionaire. <laughs> Even though Batman is a billionaire good guy, you have Lex Luthor, the billionaire bad guy, and whatever. And you know, Superman that the I think the class is one part of how they make Superman feel like he is just a human because he's living in human society and all that, and he has to deal with the problems that a not rich human being would have to deal with when he's not doing the Superman thing. You know, he's just doing his job as a reporter and whatever. I really like it. I really like him, in fact. And I think more people should be... should be Superman uh, enjoyers. Superman appreciators. Superman enthusiasts, even. You know? Because a lot, of, what a lot of people miss about Superman, when they say like, "Oh, you know, you can't really be Superman." Yes, you can. I mean, you can't pick up a car. You can't punch. You can't go and punch Darkseid into next week. But you can. Uh, you can make somebody's life better. You can be the kind of earnest, corny, Boy Scoutish character that Superman is without having the super strength and whatever. And I think that's the beauty of the character, and I love him for that. You know? He's very huggable. Very huggable character, I will say. Oh, anyways. Everybody, go go show Superman some love. He's, he's a good character. And honestly, okay, this is the one other thing. I think Injustice. Injustice does such a disservice to Superman. I think uh, I've come around on Injustice. I used to like it because it was like it, the, the concept of Superman being bad was still kind of novel i don't think so anymore i think the 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 idea of like superman just completely snapping after the death of lois lane and becoming like a uh authoritarian dict dictator completely misunderstands the character and in fact uh kingdom come superman is a great example of that as a result of something superman did millions of people died and that care and that story was still about even despite all of that despite all of the harm that has come as a result of Superman having, like, fights with these these other, like, very morally questionable uh, superheroes and whatever, he is still a good person. He's still, a, like, somebody you could aspire to be, right? And Injustice takes that in, in the entire opposite direction, in the wrong direction, I think, where it says that, like, you know, it, it's basically the core message of, of Injustice is that Superman is so detached from all... Uh, anything resembling humanity that all it would take is the death of, death of his wife and son to uh, turn him basically into Hitler too, right? Which obviously that's not to say that like such a traumatic event wouldn't have any negative consequences on him. It unquestionably would. But I think that like those consequences are severely misunderstood and mishandled by the Injustice uh, comic series. You know? Um, and, you know, you only really need to look at, uh, Kingdom Come Superman or any of the stories of Superman, you know, consoling a suicidal teenager in order to see that. 